Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Tuesday, August 8th, 2017 edition of VR News. There are a lot of videos out there showing people doing strange things. Then there's even more videos of people reacting to people doing strange things. Sometimes they're eye-rollingly bad and a little face palmy at times or much fromage. Then there's ones like this. This was from The Sun. While I was researching VR news today, I saw this presenter try VR for the first time and he tried a coaster ride up high over London. That's kind of the setting of the ride itself. I've seen a lot of reactions to VR, personally and of course publicly via videos. For most people, it's, oh my God, that's cool, or changing negative to positive. Rarely do they react like this. In the meantime, catch this virtual experience at the view from the shot. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I bring up this story, guys, not to make fun of the guy, just in terms of how the human brain works. Now, my theory, this is just a theory, is that this is a gentleman who has not played video games in his life, just not something he's ever done. He's always had other types of interests, no real immersion to speak of, probably didn't even try a lot of rides, like real life roller coasters. That's kind of how I see his life going. And then with this reaction, it's the only thing to me that makes sense. Anybody who's had a little bit of immersion in their lives, sure they might drop a few F-bombs, maybe even a, a few dude, this is awesomes every few seconds, but I got a good chuckle out of it regardless. Next story involves VR horror game by the name of Don't Knock Twice. It's gonna get a September 5th release, $19.99 in North America. It's gonna be 15 pounds. Well, let's just round it up, 16 pounds in the UK. It's gonna be coming to all three major platforms. So we're gonna see it Vive, Rift, and PlayStation VR. Of interest, there's also non-VR versions of the game launching. So you can get it for PC, PS4, and Xbox One as non-VR as well. However, because the Xbox One cannot also present a virtual reality mode, if you buy the title on that platform, you are going to get a bit of a discount simply because there is no VR version for that platform. The game is from developer Wales Interactive. Pre-order is gonna be available via Steam and Xbox One starting today. And next up, a game from developer Oasis Games. It's a VR puzzler called Light Tracer. It's also gonna be out next September for PlayStation VR. It's got a third person view, a little similar to how Lucky's Tales was controlled. Game features eight chapters in total. Each of those chapters is gonna feature its own unique environment and gameplay mechanics for dealing with those environments. So you kind of play the role of a deity style character, at least that's what it looks like. You control the princess from up high in third person via your staff and your staff has an orb affixed to the top. There's a beam of some type of light or energy that comes forth from that orb that's what you use to manipulate the princess down below. And that's for everything from actions she takes to just plain movement. Then we have this story, Epic Games Unreal Engine 4.17 launch finally here and with it, VR spectator screen for PC virtual reality apps. This is a mode that's going to allow those without virtual reality to see what you're seeing, albeit on their 2D monitor. It's also gonna provide them with a limited ability to interact with your environment. There's a video that shows an application called Ghost Paint in Action that shows exactly this, somebody watching and then interacting with the painting going on in Ghost Paint. The update's also gonna add experimental support for Apple's AR kit. That's going to be introduced in iOS 11 release. And in addition to that, 90 improvements in total submitted via the Unreal Engine GitHub community. So all in all, a pretty damn comprehensive update. 
When Exidy and I were age 10, which is a hell of a long time ago, we were into Dungeons and Dragons. And looking back now, this was probably the height of anti Dungeons and Dragons hysteria. There weren't many adults who were even willing to talk about D&D, let alone entertain their kids playing D&D. Now, thankfully, we had a little bit more uh, progressive parenting and they allowed us to play it in the home. We also had a fantastic experience in our local library. So this was a public library in the city that we lived in that not only allowed us to play, and that was thanks to an employee named Linda, so she allowed us to book one of the two boardrooms or conference rooms to play D&D in with friends, and it was open to people in the public to check it out, drop in. This was 1982, and that stupid Tom Hanks, Mazes and Monsters movie, which only served to make the hysteria worse, was again at its height. Well, I've goofed a lot about the lack of marketing from the big three companies. Here's just a case in point. This is a library. This one in New Zealand, I'm assuming because it's the Christchurch Public Library that's being referenced at the bottom of the pamphlet. But it's two two-hour sessions on a weekend to bring people of the public inside the library to try virtual reality. Maybe not the best freaking marketing that you've ever seen in the world. And they're probably going to be responsible, my bet, for selling more VR units in Christchurch than the big three combined through their marketing efforts. Well done, Christchurch Public Library. Love seeing stuff like that. All right, guys, that is it for the news on this Tuesday. Hopefully your guys' week has been off to a decent start. As always, cheers, guys.